This Sunday will mark the 21st anniversary of the September 11th terror attacks. And while the city is preparing to pay tribute to the lives lost, we're also remembering those who led the way during that painful time in our city's history. And this morning, we're joined by one of those very leaders, former governor of New York, George Pataki. So good to see you, Mr. Pataki. Thanks for being here once again to talk about this. Thank you. Great being on with you. So, so, Governor, take us back to that morning, right? Tuesday, September 11, 21 years ago, when you realized New York City was under attack. You had to jump right into crisis mode. What did that look like? You know, you're absolutely right. You know, right away, as soon as the second plane hit, I knew we were under attack. And that means you just have to re respond instantaneously and do what you can to save lives and prevent further loss of life. So, I immediately activated our emergency response team. I talked probably five minutes after the second plane hit the, the tower to Rudy to tell him I was in the city and we were activating the National Guard and calling up our emergency response team and we were ready to do whatever the city needed. I talked with President Bush in Florida to make sure that the airspace had been uh, shut down because we didn't know if there were going to be more planes and more attacks going forward. And, and then you just have to provide uh, the leadership and whatever is needed. You know, one of the first things we had to do was close the bridges and the tunnels and the airports because we didn't know what might happen next. And then uh, we set up an emergency command center to, to coordinate the response. And uh, I'll tell you, uh, for all the horror of that day, for all the tremendous sense of loss of almost 3,000 wonderful human beings, you know, New York should be proud of the way people from all walks of life came together yeah. and responded with such courage that day, not just the firefighters and the EMTs and the police officers, but citizens from every walk of life who risked their lives to try to save others. Yeah, and with all due respect, uh, Governor, you're just like everybody else. You're not a robot, you're human. And with all of those lives lost, everyone was feeling that tremendous loss. How did you deal with it? How were you able to lead with all of that loss and the fear of what could happen next? Yeah, you know, uh, it was just so difficult because throughout the course of the day, people would come up to me, do you know this person was yeah. at Windows on the World? Do you know this yeah. person was in the South Tower when it came down? And what you had to do is, is try to just set that aside and say that this is a horrible tragedy uh, and there will be a time to mourn that loss, but it wasn't on September 11th mm -hmm. because that was a day that required action. So. You just had to try to uh, understand the magnitude of the crisis, mm -hmm. uh, and and you know you see that you have the videos there, the people responding. And yeah. I'll tell you, it was just for all the tragedy, it was inspirational to see the courage of uh, of the way New Yorkers uh, reacted. You know, that morning I went down to Ground Zero. My yeah. troopers wanted to take me to the emergency command center in Albany, and in 12 years as governor, that's the only time I said no. I'm not following your order, and I thought it was important to be down there to inspire the people. Uh, and instead, really, it was the people inspiring me yeah. when you saw the courage they were showing. Yeah, I mean, and you're talking about the inspiration of New Yorkers. It was really the inspiration of so many from around their area that just flocked in to help, right? And you said, and you, and you really talked about the time to mourn, but for you, it was a time to lead. And then after all of this came time for action, right? So what was the most important thing to come out of the 9-11 attacks as far as New York City was concerned for you? Well, I think there were two things. First, uh, what came out of that, in the aftermath on that day, and for literally more than a year thereafter, was the sense of unity. Mm. Uh, we weren't Republicans, Democrats, back, black, white, rich, poor. We were New Yorkers. We were Americans. We'd been attacked, and we were going to stand together. And that sense of unity is something that I think was one of the few good things that came out of that day. And tragically, today, we're more divided than we've ever been in my lifetime, as opposed to the unity we felt after September 11th. And we have to try to reclaim that sense of unity. And the second thing that I think was really important was to tell the story for future generations. You know, we're 11, 21 years later, but if you go down the ground zero, if you tour the memorial, if you see the voids where the tower stood, if you see all those names of the courageous heroes who responded that day, you understand the magnitude of the attack. You understand the magnitude of the loss. And that was the whole idea of the, of the rebuilding, was to tell the story for people who weren't even born on that day mm -hmm. so they could learn of our courage, learn of our loss, and understand we have to do everything we can to prevent it from happening again. Yeah, and for those that were alive and remember, when we hear the bells toll oh, yeah. every 
September 11th following. We feel that same pain. For many of us, it doesn't go away. And it's a time to reflect. What did 9-11 teach you about yourself and, and about New York? You know, Hazel, you're right. When you hear the, the bell sound and when you hear the names being read, you, you know some mm -hmm. of those names. They were friends. They were people you worked with. They were people that I had actually given the positions with the Port Authority and yeah. I put them in the towers that day. Yeah. You just have this tremendous sense of sorrow and loss, but uh, you also have to just never forget uh, that today, uh, certainly, you look at what we were able to come back through that attack, and and you understand that for all that loss, for all that horror, when we stand together, we can accomplish anything. That's right. You know, we can really rise to new heights, and I think uh, that has to be a part of the lesson of September 11th, mm -hmm. not just never to forget those we lost and the courage we showed, but also to show what we can do when we stand together as one people, and you go to Ground Zero with the memorial, and the, and you see the the office towers rising around it, and the Freedom Tower, 1776 feet tall, and you understand that uh, this is New York, this is America. Uh, for all the, the dangers we face, we stand together. We can accomplish things that you can only dream of, and I don't think we should ever lose sight of that confidence and belief in our future. Yeah, amen to that. That's the message, right? We'll leave it there. I know you'll be back in uh, down there for the ceremony on Sunday, as you have been almost every single year, right? Mr. Pataki, thank you for being here. Thank you. Nice being on with you.